This is your three-minute radiation fallout forecast for Memorial Weekend 2012. In Canada, radar imagery from Environment Canada shows rainfall scattered across the southern provinces. The jet stream and tropopause coincide with all rainfall occurring from Lake Louise through Halifax and the area of Vancouver. The cities of Winnipeg, Ottawa on Friday and Saturday will have a high potential for fallout and on Sunday and Monday Quebec and Montreal may be affected. In the U.S. Memorial Weekend is celebrated across the U.S. with family barbecues, outdoor sports and recreation, and fireworks. However, the northern U.S. will be subjected to rain throughout most of the weekend. Radar imagery from IntelliCast, along with tropopause and jet stream models, places the Pacific Northwest, Northern California, Idaho, Montana, and the Midwest from St. Louis north to the Upper Peninsula of Michigan at highest risk of fallout for Friday and Saturday. This moves into New England on Sunday and Monday. Recent spikes from various fallout monitors indicate this potential should be taken seriously. Any outdoor activities in these high-risk areas should be undertaken with caution and masks should be a consideration, especially for those doing sports, as increased activity causes more air intake into the lungs. As a reminder, one hot particle can cause lung cancer. In Europe, the widespread rainfall over much of Europe in the past week will be breaking up. The jet stream is staying far north of the UK and south in Europe. The highest fallout concern due to atmospheric bands will be for northern Spain, Scandinavia, Italy, Bosnia, Serbia, Kosovo, Bulgaria, and Albania. Some storms may be severe. Nuke Report President Obama nominated a geologist and nuclear waste expert to be the next head of the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission. Allison McFarland will need to be confirmed by the U.S. Senate and would replace Gregory Jasko, the controversial chairman who recently resigned. Please consider emailing your senator and state reps this Memorial Weekend and let them know the U.S. cannot afford another Fukushima. Spent nuclear fuel remains dangerous for 100,000 years, and we have no long-term storage anywhere in the U.S. Nuclear fuel is a fire that burns forever. Please use this weekend to spread the word about Fukushima. The mad scientists of the nuclear industry already know that the atom cannot be harnessed safely. This message has been brought to you by Radchik and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.